In this video, I am going to explain how you can compute partial correlation from data using R. So first, we shall create our artificial data so that we know what to expect. I take Z to be a list of 30 IID normal 0, 01 random variables. So I get my Z. Let's have a quick look at Z. There are some 30 numbers random from normal 0, 01. Now I create X and Y out of Z in the following way. X is 2 times Z plus a little bit of noise. So I again take some random normal number, but I divide it by 5 so that the variation is very low. And I do the same thing with Y except that I use 3 times Z. So Z is the main contributor in both X and Y. So I may say that X and Y are related through Z. So if you take out the effect of Z, what remains is this part and this part and they are just independent. So let's do that. So I created my X and Y. Okay, let's take a look at the correlation. It is ordinary correlation between X and Y and I can see it is pretty high 0.976058. Okay. Now I want to find out the partial correlation between X and Y given Z. I am going to show three different techniques. The first technique is what you will use most of the time, that is by using a package. The package is called PPCore. Most likely you will not have this package already, so you have to install the package using install.packages. But I have already installed it, that's why I have commented this line out but every time you want to use it in a session you need to load it so I loaded it now the function is p core p c o r p core for partial correlation and it expects a data matrix so I just c bound it x y z <coughs> you can do this in any order so let's just see what happens and in case you are interested in seeing what is the effect of C bind, let me just execute that part of the line. And you can see that it just creates a data matrix which has got 30 rows and 3 columns X, Y, Z. Okay, so let's now apply P core. Now P core will give you lots of different stuff. So we do not need any of those things. Now we need only what is called estimate. Now, I did not have to specify given what and so wh whether I want to condition on Z or on X. What it does, it gives you all possible partial correlations. For example, if I look at this, this is partial correlation between X and Y given all the rest. That means in this case given Z. Similarly, this is partial correlation between X and Z given Y. And similarly, this is partial correlation between Y and Z given X. What we want here is partial correlation between X and Y given Z. And you can see it is much smaller than what we had earlier. So it is much, much smaller. And that is because now that I have fixed Z, the only relation that comes from are from these independent things. In fact, it is pretty high. Even just considering the fact that these things are supposed to be independent, but then we are working based on random numbers, so there is some amount of correlation still persisting. So this is how you will compute it using a package. Now let's try to use our raw definitions. So I will first try to use regression. So I regress X on Z and also Y on Z. And then I take the two residuals and find the correlation between them. And you can see I get the same answer as before. Now I can use matrices. So I first create my data that is the same C bind Z, X, Y. So I have put the two variables of interest at the end and the conditioning variable at the beginning. Then I compute the covariance. So let's take a look at the covariance. It is this. Now I will extract the different parts. In this case when I partition this part will be my C, this part is my B and B transpose and this single thing is my A. So I have just computed them, all of them, just taken the different partitions, they are named 
in the same way as in the last video. So I get A, B and C. Now finally I compute my partial dispersion matrix D in this way. Since A here is just a scalar, I do not really need to invert it. I am just dividing by it. Now finally I will compute the correlation based on this dispersion matrix D12 divided by square root of D11 and D22 and I again get the same number. So you see that these are the three ways by which you can compute correlation, partial correlation using R.